Hello all. So in this tutorial, we'll model and texture a stage design in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So let's take a reference over here. So let's take a reference. So we are going to model and texture this. So let's start up. So let's take a plane. So for creation of this stuff, we are going to use uh, shape tools. So what we are going to do over here is like, uh, let's go into the shape, let's take a line and let's uh, model line or what else you can do is you can just take a rectangle over here like this, just take a rectangle just push this over here uh, click on this right click and set this to 90 degree press E and shift and make a copy of it rotate it over here so once you are uh, done over here like this you can just select this both the stuff and you can just uh, resize this over here so select this over here and right click and convert to editable spline so we are going to right click and convert to editable spline over here and very very important thing what we are going to do over here is like uh, we are going to attach this so let's select this and attach it after attaching it let's go into this let's take a spline over here go down and you have a boolean so let's go into the boolean and let's boolean it click ok now the left, next part, uh, let's come out of it and give a modifier over here, that's your extrude modifier. So I'm going to use a extrude modifier over here and just increase this, increase this stuff as much as you want over here, that's it, alright. So we can just select this hole and just uh, give a color into it so let's go into the top view over here you can just go onto the top view over here and if you just want to make a copy of it you can easily make a copy of it so whatever things you want to make it you can easily make it over here so let's go over here and you want to just make a copy of it you can just go over here take a box over here just take a box so we can just go into this uh, side view over here you can just select this uh, select this over here and convert to editable poly so let's go into this go into the vertices so let's zoom in and zoom out it that stuff over here so select this and just push this down so you can just scale this stuff and just uh, duplicate this okay just duplicate this so you can just select this press shift and duplicate it go into the vertices scale it that's it All right. so 
that can be done uh, over here in this way now the next step is like uh, can let's go to the top view over here let's select the top view select all of this so select this over here and let's uh, attach all of this go into the vertices and just push it inside that's it so now what you can do over here is like you can just click over here and give a mirror option over here so we have a mirror over here so let's click on this mirror and set it into the x-axis and make a copy of it so you can just zoom it out you can just push this over here for the mirror stuff so whatever is required you can just uh, definitely define that uh, particular stuff wherever it is required so now what I am going to do over here is like uh, let's go into this uh, front view you can just zoom it out you can just go over here and you can just create take a line tool let's take a line tool over here let's take a line tool that's for the back side so if you want it to drag this more to the back you can do that so we can uh, select this go into this and definitely we are just going to push this back over here till here that's it okay so let's go into this front view over here so after going into this front view let's take a line over here let's take a line so let's go over here and you can draw some some shapes over here so you want to generate this kind of shape over here so we can just press shift and uh, click over here for generating this such kind of shape over here you can just rotate this and you can close the shape if you want so you can just select this and if you want to uh, you know you can give some kind of smoothness or sharpness or corner or something that can be uh, easily given over here so right click and use a refine over here and give a smoothness and you can just edit it in this way so you can just uh, select this stuff over here again select this and you can use a extrude modifier over here and reduce this extrusion part so you can reduce this extrusion part and what you can do is like you can just uh, select this press shift and copy it R and just you can just scale this out you can scale a bit so you can uh, go into this view push it over here and you can keep it in this way and most important thing is like you can push this element a bit inside so select this both the objects over here uh, you can go over here and you can push it back over here so as you can see over here we have uh, just done uh, with this stuff over here you can just just change the color over here now you can just create uh, take all, both of this and just uh, mirror it and give a copy of it and you can just keep it over here in this way that's it all right so let's again take a box over here like this so you can just select a box you can 
take a box over here you can just resize the stuff and you can push it behind so you can just select it and you can just push this behind so uh, you can just duplicate this again over here duplicate this again on from this view you can just uh, duplicate this stuff duplicate this view so you can just push this down and most important is like you can just uh, scale it down till here and you can reduce the height you can increase decrease the height of it easily so you can just uh, easily reduce the height of it oh sorry the width push this here okay so let's convert this to editable poly so you can just convert this to editable poly select this edge and let's give uh, two connects over here click ok let's go into the vertices and just push this up that's it so whatever stuff you want to uh, generate it from this you can easily generate it and you can just make a duplicate of it that's it so once you're done over here you can just select this all and you can just make a copy of it you can just push this down like this so you have some kind of uh, details to be generated you can easily generate such kind of details so you can easily generate those details over here so convert to editable poly over here so select this press 4 you can select this and you can use a bit of uh, inset option over here a bit if you require it you can use an inset if you don't require it you can keep it as it is no problems over here so select this let's go into this or you can use a insert over here also that's it right so uh, we have uh, these two options over here So you can keep this over here and keep this over here. So if we just uh, you know change the color, so that would be uh, much more easy to recognize that. So I'll just select this both and uh, change the color. So that would be easy to recognize it. Again, now what we are going to do is like. We are going to go over here and let's take one more box over here which would be thinner. So very thin. That would be to the background of it. That's it. Alright, so you can just zoom in and zoom out that.
okay all right so here yeah, just define the stuff so you can just give the colors afterwards so just save your file we have not saved the file yet so you can just just save your file If you want to make any kind of a changes over here, it can be uh, easily done over here. Alright, so thanks for watching this tutorial. We'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial.